Hello friends, good day, welcome to Sunni Art. This is Sunni. Today I want to talk about the decoupage paper. What are the difference between decoupage paper, napkin or tissue, rice paper or mulberry paper? In my studio, I very frequently use this kind of decoupage paper. This one we call a paper, decoupage paper. This one is from Decomania. Okay, so in the market, you will see different, different kind of decoupage paper, but usually it divided uh, into three different categories. One is like this, decoupage paper. Okay, the second one is a rice paper or we call mulberry paper. Then another kind is the most commonly used tissue paper or we call decoupage napkin. Okay, decoupage napkin. Three layers. These are the decoupage napkin. Okay, what are the difference between these three different papers? Okay, in my studio or in my course, in my teacher certificate course in my studio, I use 95% of this kind of paper we call decoupage paper. I like to use decoupage paper because Decoupage paper is not transparent, cannot see through. So you can use any technique on it. Like for example, you can use any color you like. You can have a dark color surface, any color. So you can like you can do a very dark color wood grain effect. You can do a distressing effect with brown color or with black color, and using this kind of paper for decoupage on top of it. Because this paper cannot see through. So even you have a dark color surface, when you, up, you glue on this paper, the paper still can see very clearly. But if you, if you use the rice paper or tissue, to me, tissue or rice paper are more or less the same. They are semi-transparent, as you can see, semi-transparent. So if you use a dark color surface, then the images cannot be seen so clearly, okay? Same as a tissue. Tissue like, you see, it's a semi-transparent. So you can use only light color for tissue or rice paper. Rice paper is slightly stronger because it's made by the bark fiber of the mulberry tree. So they have, as you can see, they have this kind of fiber, so much stronger than the tissue. So, when you use the, the rice paper, it's not that easy to tear if compared with if you're using the tissue. Tissue is very thin. So that's why in my course, I like to use decoupage paper. So later, I will show you, uh, I will do decoupage on this tree, using these three different kind of paper on different color surface. We will see what are the difference then how is the result if we apply these three different paper on different surface, different color surface? Okay, now I will show you if you use different decoupage paper and we decoupage on different color surface. I already base coated three different colors. This one is white color, light color, medium color, I use moss green and dark color, I use chocolate. So we will see the result. Uh, if I, I use decoupage paper on these three different colors and if I use tissue and mulberry paper or rice paper on three different colors. Let, us, uh, let me try on the paper first, tissue, uh, the decoupage paper. So this is decoupage paper from 50 gram maybe until 50, 50 to 80 gram. When you use this kind of decoupage paper, you have to cut accordingly. Okay, I like to use this scissor because it's very sharp and easy for the cutting. Save your time. So when you do this kind, when you use this kind of images, you have to make sure that you have to cut accordingly, nicely and cut in detail. Okay, so that after you do decoupage, people cannot tell that whether this one is your decoupage or your painted. Okay, this one is very very important. Okay, because sometimes I notice some of the the artwork they didn't they don't uh, cut uh, in detail and didn't cut clean. Some of the parts still can see the white white color uh, background like this. Uh. you don't leave it. You don't leave the white color. You have to cut in. Make sure. 
can slightly cut in and also all this one you have to poke a hole and cut in detail these are very these all small small parts are very important so that people cannot tell this one is your painting or is decor patch okay so a good scissor is very important for you for the uh, decor patch so this decor patch paper i already cut in detail okay so this cutting this one is the cutting for the decor patch paper i already cut in detail hey, where is the paper let me check yes this one okay so you just i no need to glue on this paper you can tell i glue on the white color surface it can see clearly if i glue on the medium color surface it still can see the paper very clearly same as if i glue on the dark color surface you will see the paper clearly also okay you can still can see even though i do i i, I glue this paper on this kind of surface that i already do distressing you still can see the paper right you still can see clearly or if i paste on the wood grain effect like this one still can see okay still can see clearly okay if i glue on this kind of dark color surface definitely still can see nicely right okay now i show you if i glue uh, now i show you if i use the decor patch napkin okay I'll try to use this napkin this is napkin three layers I take out the peel off the two white color layer I need only this okay so usually if I use decoupage napkin I like to use white color because white color will remain all the original color of the tissue if I use this tissue all this color will remain but if I use medium color so maybe the white color will become when you decoupage maybe the white color part of the tissue you will see become green color we will see now i will try i will show you so for if i i use this kind of image i like to tear i don't i don't cut with the scissor because the scissor you will see a very you will see a very uh, obvious line okay i don't like the line i like to have this this one uh, not so obvious after your decoupage so it's better there okay if the the decoupage paper that you choose the base color is white color then it's the best because you have the back color surface so when you glue down you no need to tear very precisely you can leave some white color and sometimes you won't see the white color also because the base color is white color but if the the tissue that you choose the white the background is not white color so what should you do like for example if you choose this kind of decoupage paper so what should you do so for me for me okay usually i will glue whole piece i glue whole piece so just depends on what design you want but if you do want to glue whole piece and the background color is not the same as the white color so what should you do so still i will still tear okay i will still tear i just show a bit just demo some uh, just sharing the knowledge okay because a lot of beginners they don't understand they have a lot of questions they always send me the message and they ask a lot of questions because they don't understand how to use it okay like for example if you want to use this one when you glue like this of course you will see this color okay not natural i wouldn't glue like this this one is not nice to me it's not nice i won't teach my student to glue like that also because it's not natural so if but if you want to do like that for example because your background color is not pink unless you can find a similar background color to this one if you cannot then it's better you use white color then after you glue the paper you have to do something here maybe you paint with the similar color of the 
this background color, you, maybe you find similar, look for similar color, the pink color, or maybe you paint something on it, or you do stencil to cover this, this part because not natural. Okay, understand? If you have a light color background, now I try this one, light color, then it will be matching. Okay, you won't see the line so much because it's going in already, like for example, like this, because this is white color. Now I will do the decoupage and show you. So I use a normal decoupage glue. Okay. Just put apply the glue on top. Okay. You don't apply too much of the glue, just a thin layer. Because tissue is very, very thin. Okay, it's very easy to glue. So make sure the glue, no need to be too thick. It's very easy to glue. So a thin layer will do. If your glue is too thick, so when you glue down, the tissue will tend to have bubble and a lot of wrinkles. Okay, then you put a plastic wrap on top. Then use a scraper to do like this. Then you will see, smooth out the, the wrinkle. You will see it will be very smooth. You cannot see any wrinkles at all. Okay, you see? Very smooth, no wrinkles. And the white color already, already go in together with the white color surface. Okay? So, if you're using tissue on white color surface, it's the best for me. To me, it's the best. So you can still remain the original color of the tissue. Okay, then always remember have to wipe off the extra glue with the white uh, white cloth or the, the wet tissue. Okay, just wipe. Don't wipe in, just wipe out. Okay, done. Then blow dry. Blow dry with hair dryer, then you varnish few layers, then done. Okay, so same. I'm using the same tissue again, but now, I will do this one on a darker surface, a medium color surface. We will see what is the result. As I told you before, tissue and the mulberry paper or rice paper, they are semi-transparent. So it will see through. So let us try if I apply, I, I decoupage this napkin on a darker color surface and see what is the result I'm using this paper. Okay. Same, apply the glue, a thin layer, okay? No need to be too thick, just like this, a thin layer, okay? Then, I will put on the paper. Gently, okay? Then, plastic wrap, plastic wrap, and the scraper. You can put some pressure, okay? Okay, you see, the result will be like this. Okay, here is the result. Okay? If compare with this one, which one is look, looking, which is nicer? Of course, this one, right? That's why I like to use white color. So this one, you can see the white color part will become some green color. Also, you will see this line very obviously. That's why when I use this kind of paper and when I use tissue and I, I uh, and the, if the surface, the base coat color is not white color, I will cut in detail. I won't leave like this. If I want, I'm lazy to cut, I will do something to cover this line. Maybe I do some painting or maybe I do see spun to blend in the color, okay? Or I will do the stencil, put in some stencil, okay? Same if I do this one on the dark surface, using the same tissue again, but on the dark surface. Same tissue, just there. Of course, you can cut also, but I just want to save time. So I just there. Now I glue here. Let's see what is the result. 
thin layer okay just a thin layer so try to finish watching the whole video because I have a lot of tips okay you don't miss it because it's important tips for you especially for beginner or for those they don't understand about the different between different different kind of decoupage paper okay then uh, put on this As you can see, this if on a dark surface, then the image cannot be seen so clearly. If you compare with the medium color and the white color, okay? Dark color surface, medium color surface, and the light color surface. Wipe off the extra glue, and now I do the varnish, and we will see what is the result if after we varnish. Okay? After varnish, you will see the paper already sink in. You cannot see so clearly. paper cannot see so clearly dark color surface medium color surface you will see all the white color already go in become green color this dark color cannot really see already right the base and also if white color still remain the original color of the tissue that's why for tissue suggest and advisable you use light color like light green very light pastel color like soft pink very light yellow very light blue okay also be careful if you want to have this kind of of a uh, tissue like this kind of tissue then you have to make sure you need a similar background color or else you have to cut precisely like for example if you want to use this kind of tissue you have to cut accordingly or else you will have this kind of line so it don't look nice or else you do something on it okay if you want to do something on it i think in the youtube a lot of artists they already showed the video similar video if this kind of paper i will glue whole piece because it's very hard for you to cut accordingly okay or else you can you can cut you can just tear whatever you want and you paint something to enhance it okay then now we try if we using rice paper okay this is rice paper rice paper to me is the same as decoupage paper actually uh, the same as the tissue it's a semi-transparent this is rice paper rice paper have two kinds some are very thin like this one is very thin 50 50 times 50 cm but only 14 gram very very thin you don't really see the fiber same as like this one okay the fiber is not so clearly but another kind but another kind of uh, uh, rice paper is like this kind mulberry paper you can see the fiber very clearly this kind okay so this one is more strong okay so the transparency still have but depends on the image if the image is dark color like this one then maybe you can use slightly darker color okay but if like this kind of image then you cannot use too dark color surface like this okay let us try if i use this one i like to tear also will tear in the result will be the same as you do on the uh, as the same as the tissue okay i will tear also i don't cut because 
it's very hard like this kind of images is very hard to cut in detail so it's better you there if you're using white color surface then you will remain all the original color here okay let me glue and show you also a thin layer of the or a thin layer of glue scraper hey where is my scraper I like to use the corner here okay use the corner so every part you have to smooth out all the extra wrinkles and bubble evenly so you don't see the line so clearly okay but now let us try if we do on here medium color surface I use still the same the bamboo bamboo for Chinese is good okay this is a Chinese print I'm a Chinese actually, I'm a Malaysian Chinese, a Malaysia Chinese. Okay, so there. Like if for this kind of image, then of course you can cut accordingly. Okay, when you see they have an obvious line like this, then you can cut accordingly. But if this kind, then you have no choice, you have to tear. I like to tear because when you glue down, like this one, you won't see the line, the straight line too obvious. Okay. Now I glue here. Okay. You will see the line very obviously because, because this one is not white color surface. Rice paper. This is rice paper I'm showing you using the rice paper. Okay. Plastic wrap and the scraper so scraper is very important see you can see the line very clearly very clearly not nice right huh unless you want to do something again again if you want to do something uh, your paint some color on it okay enhance it with uh, some painting or you do some background effect then it will look nice okay then if this one wipe off the glue have to wipe off huh? or else after some time you will see the glue mark then maybe I use this one for the dark color it's the same result as you can see or for the tissue then I will show you if you're using decoupage paper on a dark surface. Okay, now this one here. Okay, still the same decoupage glue. No need to be very thick because rice paper is similar with the tissue. They no need to apply too much of the, the glue. Use your finger first. To spread like this evenly then put the plastic wrap and the scraper can put can have slightly some pressure okay okay then wipe off the extra glue blow dry first huh? I just don't because no time I just show you you have to blow dry first then apply the decoupage varnish now I apply the varnish. For this one. And this one. If 
varnish is very important for your final artwork to protect your artwork, okay? So, as you can see, after you varnish, the paper already sink in. You cannot see the image so clearly. See the result. On the white colour surface, rice paper, tissue paper. Tissue and the rice paper on the medium colour surface and on the dark colour surface. Okay, that's why I said rice paper and the tissue they can use a very limited technique i mean uh, cannot apply too many complicated technique or, or or darker surface on that okay whereas but if i use deco parchment paper i can use any technique any background technique i mean the background technique for it uh, to do deco parchment you can do any background technique first then you do decoupage on that using the decoupage paper that's why why i like to use decoupage paper in can say 95 percent and above i use only decoupage paper in all my project only for some of the simple project like a basic course or for the kids or some very basic class i will use tissue but my students they like to use tissue because tissue is very easy to get easy to to uh, get anywhere and also more economic okay but if you want to do apply using more different kind of technique you want to learn uh, have more uh, interesting background effect then i suggest you to use decoupage paper okay decoupage paper like this see then you can use any kind of any kind of background effect this one okay i just show you if i glue this one is the same maybe now i slightly uh just slightly more slightly more glue but not thick if too thick it tends to have wingle also just put on top it's the same method okay then the plastic again scraper slowly because this one is very fine the line are all very fine so you have to to do this very gently and carefully okay you see this one is very dark color surface you still can see the paper very clearly the decoupage paper Okay, then I clean the extra glue, wipe out, don't wipe into the paper. So afraid the paper tends to tear, okay? Just clean like that. Then varnish. Have to blow dry first, okay? Blow dry first, then varnish. You can see most of my work, most of my decoupage work I using using only decoupage paper okay I very seldom using tissue then I varnish I show you okay varnish after varnish you see you still can see the paper very clearly and look much nicer why because the varnish will have the shining effect See, done. Blow dry. You can have to wash few layers. Then will be very protected already your project. Okay? Paper. No matter what effect, what background technique you use on it, or you use any color, the paper will look still nice. Okay? But if you use tissue, you can see the difference. Tissue on white color surface, Tissue on medium color surface, tissue on dark color surface after varnish. Rice paper on dark color surface after varnish, rice paper on medium color surface, and rice paper on white color surface. So this, I hope this video is very useful to you, a very good information for you, especially for beginner. So you know how to choose your paper. Okay, just remember, when you want to do this kind, when you want to glue the, the paper, like this kind of paper, 
okay? It's better for you to cut accordingly. If not, you glue whole piece. Or else, if you still want to glue like this one, then make sure you do something to cover the line. Okay, maybe you do stencil, maybe you do some color effect, blending effect to do to cover all the edges or else not natural. I wouldn't glue like this. None of my work I wouldn't do like this. It's not nice, it's not natural. Okay, but this one is only my own opinion. Different teachers have different style. I can't I, I'm not saying that the teacher is wrong or right, no wrong and right, okay? Just different style, different teacher, they have different style, they have different um, opinion, okay? Thank you for watching and hope this is helpful to you.